Hello folks, it's Amy B and we are here with Dylan McDonald in the AVNs with Daniel, his guitar player. And we're at Richard Downs Recording Studios, Cyber Productions Recording Studios here in Nashville, Tennessee. They're working on their second album, which I'm very excited about. This is very, very cool. Thank you for letting us come into the recording studio and watch you guys do your stuff. They're going to be working on uh, one of their songs today called Evil Perfume. Tell us a little bit about Evil, Evil Perfume. When you told me the title, I was like, I got to know about this. Is it about a woman? It is about a woman. It's about a woman. It's about a, it. it's about a girl. <laughs> about a girl. Okay. Let's be and clear about that. Yes, be very clear about that. Okay. And Evil Perfume, how did you come up with that? What's, uh, what's up with that? I it came out of a breakup. Yeah. Um, I got a I got a box of my stuff in the mail after the breakup. In the mail. That's like, with yeah. A, with a breakup letter doused in her favorite perfume. Yeah. Did you like that perfume? Uh, not in the moment. Not in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to do it, you know. Yeah. Like today, people text when they're breaking. I was like, that's horrible. That's pretty bad. I mean, she took the time to box this stuff up, send it to you. Put in the some mail, thought into it. Put some stamps on that thing and yeah. think about it. You know, mm -hmm. like yeah, mm -hmm. right, right. So, but the good thing is, is that a great song came out of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's just way awesome. I'm happy with it. Yeah, great songs come from those emotional breakups and when you're down and out and things like that, you know. That's what I love about you guys' music. When I first saw you play, it's like you have a great original sound, but you take me back to my old school days, you know. And uh, I like that with a little bit of, you know, of a of a more, you know, younger, you know, your time era, a little twist in it. But yet you haven't let go of the old time rock and roll feel, and I love that. Your guitar playing takes me back to that, too. It's like, now that's rock and roll folks and your voice is very unique and different oh, you remind me of like a little Tom Petty I know you hate it when I say that but <laughs> oh, it does like when I first Petty. saw it, it's like we the way Petty. he kind of swaggers on stage and all that right I mean he really does but he's got that, that, that Neil Young kind of vibe too you know and that Bob Dylan-ish kind of thing so going on but uh, I really I really dig it I, and I'm very excited about the new material oh, coming out now tell me how long have you and Daniel been together now you two are like the original originals when you met Daniel you guys started working together a long time ago? Uh, about, gosh, it was probably 2006. Wow, yeah. so you guys have been together for right about eight us. years? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And a little bit of few uh, member uh, changes on the uh, rhythm section, but uh, you two are the mainstays and uh, you're in it for the long haul, mm -hmm. which is really great, which is a collaboration. Now, you write most of the lyrics and then uh, Daniel does the guitar stuff. How do you guys write together? Do you have like an idea you bring it to him and vice versa, we, kind we, of both? We don't really write together a lot. Um, yeah. Not don't. as much as we should. We no, write well yeah. together. Yeah. Um, yeah. We do write well together when we have, but we just, I don't know why we don't do it as often. Lack of discipline on my part. Right, right. We'll have to work on that, Dylan. <laughs> we'll they, have to work he's, on he, on this album, on the second album, uh, the one we're working on currently, he's written, written every song on it. Right. right? And then you come in and you lay down your like screaming guitar. Ryan, Ryan Winkle. Co wrote. Oh, that's right. One uh -huh. Ballad of Jay Gaspi. Ballad of Jay Gaspi. Ryan Winkle, the bass player. Oh, yeah, I love that, that song. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, we are going to be going to Mike Wolf's uh, Antique Archaeology. Uh, he's got a Pickers Corner here in Nashville, Tennessee at a store, and he has musicians come in. They're going to perform for us later, so stick around for that. They're going to do Backwoods Royalty, which is like one of my favorite songs, too. Oh, thanks. And uh, so it, we will have uh, Ryan there, and to his Kyle. Kyle Tyler. Uh, Kyle, Kyle Tyler. Tyler on drums and Ryan on bass, and um, so let's get back to um, the uh, the new album. Okay, so you've been working on it for how long? Um, and the name was the name of the album. Uh, oh, fueled by dreams of the future. I like that. Tell me about that. How how did you come up with that name? Um, the title? It's, it's a line in the. I, I don't know. <laughs> just kind of the, the first record popped in my head. Yeah. Out from the door was from the line. Out from the door, was yeah. From the line in the song. Yeah, that's pretty much how it how it Gotcha. Happens. Guys, are yeah. going to be a song with the title of the album. Yeah, the title song? track okay. is "Fueled title by track. Dreams of the Future." Awesome, awesome. And where can the people find you? Find your music? You got CD Baby, all that kind of stuff. I mean, Reverb Nation. You um, guys out there? Yeah, we'll be on uh, iTunes, Amazon.com, and um, basically whatever. Okay. 
Yeah, and we'll roll that into credits, folks. So if you're looking for, and I know you will be after you see this performance coming up uh, for Dylan and the Avions and Daniel, uh, so music. And currently, right now, you'll be able to buy this online and uh, pick up and turn yourself on to some of their great music. And then their second album will be coming out. So we we'll have to come back and talk to you again. Yeah. Yeah, when they do the next album, it's going to be great. So we're very excited. And so now, stick around because we're going to watch them do their stuff in the recording studio. We're cooking it down in Music Town. We'll be right with you. Okay. Evil perfume. It's evil. That can be a foggy Remember, memory. it's evil. So yeah, you gotta kind of be, it's gotta be rock and roll, man. It's evil. Here we go. That's the one. Evil perfume On every letter that you sent me I caught you hanging on my blue jeans Evil perfume It's a wrap! <laughs>